This is Come and See with Father Philip Hall, turning to and following Christ in the 21st century. Father Philip is parish priest at All Saints of Lincolnshire Orthodox Church in Lincoln, England. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, God is one. Amen. Begin by reading Titus chapter 3, verses 8 to 15, and then Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 to 19. We have these beautiful readings today because we are celebrating the Holy Fathers of the, of the Fourth Ecumenical Council. They are the ones who um, described the two natures of Christ. And they're also the ones who told us the relative importance of the five great patriarchates of the Church. And the readings themselves are, are beautiful, as I said. In Matthew, we realize that everything, everything in the scriptures, the law and the prophets, are fulfilled in Christ. It's all about him. He is the faith. He is our saviour. He is our purpose. He is our message. He is our hope. He is our life. He is our everything. And we don't want or need to add or take away anything from Christ himself. We simply need, as far as we are able as human beings, to describe him. We do not need to add or take away anything from any of his commandments. We must just simply do our absolute utmost to fulfill them. And the greatest of his commandments is about loving each other and hold that firmly within our being. St. Paul in Titus continues really with this theme. He says, apply yourselves to good deeds, in other words loving deeds, deeds full of love that fulfill the commandments of Christ and avoid unprofitable things that don't teach the truth about Christ just genealogies or thoughts or other things that you think are important. We must allow, in fact, Christ himself, the great light, to enter into every part of our being, into every cell, every molecule, every atom, and even into every proton and neutron <laughs> and electron and all those other bits and bobs of the atoms of which we are made. To sink into us completely so that our goodness, which is also his goodness, may also shine out in the darkness of our world. And what a dark world it is. Open up a newspaper, get onto the internet, look up news, and what do you read about? Death, destruction, cruelty, powerful men and women screwing the faces of other people into the dust. What do we read about? We read about famine and plague and viruses and locusts that devastate people's lives and change whole societies. We read about people demanding their rights but having no obligations. We read about people saying they, they demand their own freedom but don't do anything at all about releasing others. They demand their own way even when that own way puts other people into danger. The people demanding and demanding and we must give. We must give out light. We must give out light in this darkness so that other people, good people, people who wish to repent, people who need to return to Christ, people who need to convert themselves, like moths 
will be drawn towards that great light who is Christ himself. So be like that light on the hill. It's not on the hill. Be like that light on the lampstand. Be like that city on the hill so that people can see where you are. They can see the light which is Christ coming from you and they can then know where to go. Your prayers, God bless you. Amen. Join us again next time for Come and See with Father Philip Hall, a listener-supported presentation of Ancient Faith Radio.